Welcome back to a very long night in Roxburgh. So there's a couple of things. Firstly, our friend here. I thought this was supposed to be pickable. It's not fucking locked. Did I already go in here? So like here I am trying to say, oh well, what opens the purple door? It, this is like a book of names, isn't it? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. give me the razor to go. Okay, never mind that, forget that. Alright. So we're missing the two ingredients, one for the vine key, and I've been around here looking and not finding anything, right? Look the other way, mate. Come on. That's right. I'll do. One for the vine key and one for the vine zone. Oops, careful. <laughs> Almost threw myself off the edge there. And the other for the water zone. And it turns out that both things are back in the south star that I missed. So we're going back through the transition zone here to the south star. among us. Please, join me in my quarters, but be careful. Oh. Does that mean they're going to want to attack me now? That's... less good than I hoped. Hmm, I've only got one of the things I need. Oh, and this is where Lamp Lantern Man comes, right? Not just Lantern Man. It's been a long time since I was here. I was hoping just to do a little backtracking, get a couple of items to get the water and vine keys sorted out, but. What we're gonna do instead is start. Start making sure that uh, everyone else is leaving this line, okay? I can see Lantern Man is kind of stuck down there, that's awkward. Let's try and free him up, shall we? That's better. No. Nope. Yep. Yes, yes, he's out stuck now. I don't know, remember how far he comes in, so let's move a little further away from the door. I don't think he goes too far. Maybe he does. So quick. It's all near. Okay. We were on our best behavior before, but not anymore. Anyone else down here? I don't think so. So go on the ground floor. What have I done with it? Yes. 
What have you done with it indeed? I mean, do I need to worry about him? He's on the ground floor. Let's just go to the ground floor. Okay. Superior Soul Hooser's room, which I've still not been able to get into. Soul 13 and his friends here. <laughs> 13, 14, 6. You know what? You might as well join him too, just in case you see them. So we do hope to vanquish you. At least to leave you confused as to where I am. Believe I just lost it. <laughs> Believe it, Molypius. That's very true. <laughs> Super bright there, it doesn't seem like it should be that bright. Well, everybody's spooked in my existence, so this is going to be less of a quick backtracking than I planned. For sure. Somebody's still asleep.
masters of our words, or do we become the slaves of our readings? I'll have to. Aldred? Feels like a door. It's not. Okay. Kitchen. I don't think I've actually been in here before. Work in these conditions. I left storage space in the kitchen. Everything is piled up on the makeshift shelf to the detriment of my, my plan. As well as that, the novices leave their quarters in disorder, and I spend my time searching for chairs for the dining room. How can we accomplish our quest if we lack discipline in such simple tasks? I envy Salt Darks with the North Star. At least he works in decent conditions. What have I done with it? Trickster's herb. Mm -hmm. One thing I need. Oh, hello. Water arrows. Bag of fish scales. There we are. That's what I came here for. As well as valuables, of course. Garlic. Is that just... I mean, it's unlabeled, which is a little weird. But is it just edible for hit points, maybe? Or is it for keeping vampires away? All right. Now, can I remember the way back to the tower? Let's try and retrace my steps, so that way we'll encounter as few people as possible. Hmm, well let's try the garlic, shall we? Yeah, it's just food. Give me two hit points though, that's good. Right, we were up here. That guy spotted us. Or heard something and went searching. Detective Soul. Still, there's some of the numbered souls after us. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. Circle strafe did there. Gooey Ridian. Gooey Ridon. Alright, let's need to go back downstairs to get to the tower. We need to go downstairs on the other side, I think. Oh, 
have the bodies now. Alright. Story can wait, we've got extra loot to pick up. To the North Star we go. Okay. Find the key room. Oh god, all these bodies in the way. Who left that there? What a mess. Key room, key room. No, that's not. That's uh. Top of the SSL's quarters, which we're gonna need to get to. I think we'll get there through the light zone. It's our stairwell friend. Turn. This is a long way, but it, it still will get me to the key room. The key room is just down here to the right. Okay. So we got the thing from the earth, and we got the infinite from the sea. Fish scales. Or oh, the thing from the creature uh, that lives in the water. And the trickster's her. There we are, finally, vine key and water key got. I need to walk slowly in here. Okay. Uh, I don't remember which way was which. That way was the sleeping quarters, so we don't want to go that way. This is the way we need to go then. Oh, the water one is near the sleeping quarters, isn't it? Where was the vine zone? God, this place is such a warren. Vine zone was it up here? Yes. You okay, man? Pig and Tail. Found in T56 LO3 A101. Near the ruins called the Old Mill, also unknown. The Tale of the Five Men. Five men, darkened by the Hammerite city, met the Woodsy Lord, hoping to get in his good graces. The first man, hungry for fame, wanted to be liked by all. The Woodsy Lord asked him to go liberate the neighboring country that suffered from the presence of the Hammerites. A thousand day war followed. His determination pushed him to become bloodthirsty. Hated by all, he was hanged and regarded as one of the worst criminals ever known. His name was Fyodor. The second man, a beggar of the old city, wished to become a rich man. The Woodsy Lord gave him ten large bags filled with gold. 
Delighted at such a present, the man found the strength to carry them. On his way home, the bridge he was trying to cross collapsed from under him, and he drowned. His name was Travis. The third man, having reached his eighty springs, dreamed of immortality. The woodsy lord made his dream come true, but immortality is not synonymous with eternal youth, as the old man find, found out. Endless suffering, he would still be alive after all these years, and has all eternity to redefine his vocabulary. His name was Eucharist. The fourth man, blinded by power, demanded to rule by our lord for at least one century. The woodsy lord, amused by such a request, granted him to become his second. This imbecile did not last three months before madness got him. He was found wandering in the streets of the old city, and he finally ended up locked in the depths of a Hammerite asylum. His name was Calaster. These idiots give quite a cruel image of our lord, but that was before our lord met the fifth man. All faithful of the creator, he rejected his convictions and gave up his possessions, and humbly asked to become one of ours. The woodsy lord saw in his eyes his hatred towards the hammer, deep inside his soul, and our lord liked that very much. He then showed kindness towards this man, who was rewarded handsomely. His name is Constantine. It's a different take on... Uh... Oh. Sounds like I'm being hunted for. I wonder, I have a gas mine, I have a gas bomb, is that gonna work on him? Although maybe, as long as I don't come close to him, maybe I'll be alright. Let's try it, shall we? Another rotten fruit, okay. God, it's noisy here. No? But that was a waste, wasn't it? Oh, sorry, it's too much vine. You can't even step in the water anymore. Bye. Right, where is the water key? No, that's not the way to go. Do you need to get back to... The living quarters. Right, water key is just up here. This book you left here looks valuable to me. Let's try and get inside this air bubble again. Is there anything else? Table and chair? Maybe it's just that book. Well, what is own. All right, done. Now finally we can do the ASR. 
light zone rather. Put on that, then we're good to get out of here. Head back to the South Star and figure out why the hell everyone there is, is so upset with us. This way, yes. Alright, light zone. Find our way into Thessal's quarters, I think. Hello. Oh, neat. Ah, not so neat. Careful. There have got to be traps around here. Hang on a second. Ah, oh, that's where I need to be. Right. <laughs> Just looking around for secrets and found uh, the way forward, I guess. Whoops. <laughs> All the way to death. Right, let's try that again. Let's stay on script first, right? Oh, can't read this? Okay. Uh, how do we get in there? I don't think I'm supposed to be able to throw that through the, through the bars, am I? Oh, that's how we get in here. Is that just a light switch? It is, at the same time, interesting and worrying to notice what is going on within the elemental research. From now on, it should be accepted that the elements influence the very nature of the searches. Sol Title had an accident in T-3604-8143. He himself became what he was studying, ice. Vine. Sol Promore is being transformed little by little into a tree. He cannot leave his room anymore, and he lets the roots and foliage spread in there. I fear that he will end up leaving us by becoming a pagan creature. Water. So Granis disappeared in T20L10 or A142 and only left a bubble of air in the middle of a liquid environment in what was his room. It is necessary that we determine if he suffered the same fate as Soul Title. Earth. Sol Golemius disappears for extended periods of time. I've been told that he moves occasionally through the ground to buried areas only known to him. Also, he tends to transform himself into Earth. He is very resilient, but also very slow. Fire. Soul Lovermont has become deaf. His room is so noisy that just by being there often, his hearing has suffered irreversible damage. And thank goodness for that, because of all the metal that suddenly would have heard us. Air, yeah, Sol Zitron has vanished as well in tier one L twelve A one four two. Also, his room has sunk to the dark zone level. Either he was pulled into the abyss, or he also became the element he was studying. This means he would be haunting the North Star Star hallways as well as our lungs. Darkness. Interpreter Taxel, my own brother, seems to have lost his mind. I think he lost control of the element that he was responsible for. He lets it influence him, and allows it to expand throughout the North Star. I will need to make a firm decision in his case. Light. Curiously, I haven't found anything strange in my research. It would be necessary for me to stand back to notice any change. However, my older brother, my other brother, Talos, called me a blind man last time we met. I do not understand what he meant. I imagine that the bitterness he has towards me regarding our differences is influencing his words. Hello. Interpreter Tessal, please deign my suggestions into consideration. I have come to realize through my research on our world that some of its aspects were omitted. Amongst the zones of elemental research, six of them are about the principal elements, but there are only two areas treating secondary elements, the vine and the ice. We should enlarge the field of research about the secondary elements to make out easier our quest for the truth. I therefore propose the creation of two supplementary zones of research. In light of the recent events caused by the mechanists, we should create an opposite to the vine that would deal with the forged metal and the science of men, and so establish an equilibrium. Moreover, this would permit us to develop and perfect the workshops. 
Furthermore, thinking on the origins of Roxburgh, I had a revelation. We should create a zone of research that deals with celestial stars, along with astrology and astronomy. It is common knowledge that certain events from the sky has influenced the nature of our world. For example, there are rumours regarding a scientist in the Old City. I've been told he has confirmed the fact that the moon influences the behaviour of men and animals. Thus, I am certain that we will accelerate the accomplishment of our quest. Remember that I hope to organise a debate with you and the other protective souls of the North Star about this idea. Protective soul, Candagorin. And Dr. Tatalo is that it is unknown under the name of Jacob from the quarter of the Red Place in Rockburg is in possession of the increased holy water. From memory, it was about 10 moons and around 80 times ago that the elemental soul Gradus succeeded in stabilizing the Martellian blessing, therefore permitting the continuation of a blessing for a longer period of time. If Jacob proves to be a veritable genius, then we must welcome him within the order. But if there is a traitor among us, we must then proceed with an inquiry. Protect us all, Guidon. So you are... Interpreter Tessa. If there's someone there, please say a word and let me know your intentions. There's nobody here. Come and hide in your bathroom just to grab a water arrow. Don't even have anything valuable. Anything valuable in here. What a waste. Where are all your gold candlesticks, man? There's one of them, I suppose. I want to try jumping on your bed, but I'm not sure if it might not. Hello? I must improve the trap that protects the living breath. As a result of the accident at Sol Reticchio, I alone have the only access. I shall tread cautiously in the future regarding our members. However, the trap does tend to be too sensible. It easily activates. That must be dealt with immediately. Moreover, it is necessary for me to rethink the placement of the opening glyph in the room of the book. The light that emanates from it allows for its easy discovery. I do not trust the intentions of my brother Tarso. Likewise, I need to inform a worker that one of the switches to the portcullis is disconnected. I... That's it. Okay, the opening glyph in the book of the room, that's what I needed to have found. But, as he's right, the little glyph, the opening glyph, is too easily discovered. You know what? I'm not gonna creep around you anymore. Just get a long way around. So he's got a trap. Gotta be traps around here. Of course. It's the room of the light, right? It would seem staying in the light is gonna be important. Oh my god, are we really gonna have to walk this? Labyrinth. This makes... Uh, how many now? How many labyrinths now? I don't know. In this, just in this mission. Too many. I assume if we step in the darkness it's going to hurt us, right? I should test that theory. Oh. 
Yeah. Hurts us quite a lot. <laughs> um. In terms of what you face, you need to get more interesting traps. This one's just makes it slow and tedious. It's not actually particularly interesting. On the other hand, there's loot. And there's a nice painting. Is that an, a light arrow? It is. Right, there's a living breath. Fortunately, I'll probably never remember to use the light arrow because it's not going to be on any of the number keys, right? Oh, it is. Oh, it's taking the fire arrow slot. Okay. Let's quick save here in case I kill myself on the way back. Because obviously I'm going to be a little less careful on the way back. Quick save part way through, just save on reload tedium. Okay. Well, it's less tedious than the pitch black maze in the dark zone. I'll, I will. It's, te it's slightly less interesting as well, but it's a lot over a lot quicker, so. Oh, we can't close it again. Okay. So we have both the uh, other two gems. We have the book of names, we just haven't brought it back to tell us. So. Back we go. To the South Star. for the last time. So he shouldn't be hostile to me because he knows who we are. We're not exactly trying to fool him. Alright, now where was Interpreter Tassel's quarters? If I remember correctly, it was upstairs, right at the top. Or was that, su was that Superior Soul somebody? I don't remember. I think it was right at the top. We go upstairs in here. No, that's that's uh, Superior Soul Husa's chambers. Not been in yet, not been able to find the way in into it yet. Up here, I think. Is where I need to be, but belief gold mine. Did I read that? Yes. 
Oh shit. Shit. No, let me out. This is not good. Alright, well, let's try that again. Will water put these out? No, of course not. I do have two gas arrows, so maybe... Maybe that's the starting point. You know what, let's just spend another moss, shall we? Hey man, you wanted to see me? You want the book of you want the book of names, don't you? Impressive. I had doubts about the success of your mission. Leave here the book of the names and return to Soul Lane. May you have luck, Garrett. Okay. Do you mind letting me out of the way? I, mean, I could pick it back up again, but that's probably going to break things, right? Probably about that. Yes. All right. What we gotta do is go back to Blaine. Find a way out. He should he knows a way out, right? So he's at the base of the tower, so we just go back down here. Well it still makes me wonder about this guy's room up here. Here? Well, the other place. Ah, uh, Blaine's all the way at the top of the tower again, isn't he? Do do do, spinny spin spin. Should be a song for stair climbing too. Interpreter's wishes I opened a way out of the city. Thank you. Now leave me be. What about this thing behind you? It's valuable. Where is it? Don't forget to organize these books. I spent at least two times looking for them. Any more valuables? Are you hiding from me? Huh? Huh? Okay. I guess. Right, I guess it's another one of these. Should have opened. Well, time to go. One last transition zone, I guess.
Looks like I'm back in town. There's a place to stay. And the night's only half done. <laughs> right, so I missed some bonus objectives, but that's fine. Um, in terms of bonus objectives, obviously there's probably a bonus objective for getting all the loot. Um, there's definitely one involving the paintings. And I didn't find all the paintings. And I missed seven secrets, wow. I don't know where everything's hidden. Uh, that was four hours mission time. Uh, more than that with my uh, reloads and everything. That's a very long mission. It's good though. I, I, I enjoyed. I wish. I wish I had a map. This would be a, a really good mission for uh, a Thief Two style auto map that just fills out the corridors as you explore them. Because I just kept getting turned around so much because all the corridors look the same. Sixty five hundred. Okay. So I got that half the loot objective when I was at thirty five hundred. So that's. Numbers don't quite add up. I guess maybe I went maybe I went significantly over the uh, the thirty two fifty. All right. Well, that was the third episode of A Night in Roxburg. Doctor K did make two missions after this, I think, but they're not labeled A Night in Roxburg, I think. So I don't, I don't think they continue the story. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, I hope you'll join me next time for whatever the next mission I play is.